Welcome to another weekly wisdom. This week we're going to be looking at a dummy's guide to internal link building. So without further ado, let's get started. So we've all been on the SEMrush internal linking tool and it gives you a ton of really interesting stuff. In particular, looking at things like their internal link distribution, I find really, really interesting because it's showing me where I'm linking to in terms of strongest pages on the site all the way down to the weakest ones. Now, the type A media site between me and you is not well optimized at all. In fact, for an SEO agency, it's a little bit embarrassing. So let's work out how we can run some internal linking protocols for the type A media website to get us in a good place. So SEMrush has done a great job on telling us all the links that are actually passing the most internal page rank, but what if I want to start optimizing? It's not gonna tell me where to actually link. So let's have a think here. So assuming that I want to see, this is the site. So on the site, I wanna see all the pages that are strongest when it comes to the term uh, agency, let's say. So what I like to do here is I like to do a site command and then stick in the website URL and then put in the keyword we're targeting. So for us, we call ourselves SEO consultants. So let's bring up all the pages, there we go that are termed as SEO consultant pages. Now, the reason why this is important is because that I've just said to Google, hey, can you show me everything on this website that's the most powerful and the most relevant related to the keyword consultants? So technically, if I go on all of these pages, I should be internally linking from this consultant, this page here, to the page that I want to rank for SEO consultants. And if there's not an internal link on these pages linking to my Cornerstone Consultants page, I should probably add one in. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can, of course, click into them, have a little look and see, oh gosh, is there any links on here to the consultant page? Oh gosh, no, I don't think there is. And go back and maybe take a note of it somewhere or something like that. That's all very slow. Oh, here's keywords uh, everywhere. Look at that. Hi, mum. I'm being <laughs> I'm being put together for the term SEO. Woohoo! Um, so what we want to do is work out on these pages programmatically if they already internally link up to the page we care about. So how do we do that programmatically? Well, I'm going to introduce something that the old school guys will know about something called Scrapebox. Now, don't panic. I know you're all thinking, oh, that's a black hat tool. Stay away, stay away. It is a black hat tool if you're using it to push out the way, but if you're using it to pull information in, all it is is a web scraper. So what I want to do is I want to get a big list of all the keywords I want to rank for, and I want to do a site command on them so I can see the top 10, sometimes top 20 results, and see if I've got any internal links pointing to the correct pages. So first and foremost, I'm gonna drop in my queries here and here. One thing, so this is blocked out for a reason. Um, you're gonna need proxies in order to do this because we're pinging Google quite a bit. So we're gonna hit start harvesting. Um, I'm gonna delay it for five seconds because I don't want to um, hit them too hard. We're gonna hit start. All right, so what we can now see here is that for this keyword site command, typeymedia.net consultant, they've pulled nine results, and for the agency keyword, they pulled 10. Great, so now I actually wanna see what those are. So the great thing about Scrapebox is that it actually saves it for you in your harvester sessions. And what it does is it puts the keyword right next to the URL. Cool, so here is the output from that scrape we've just done there. So now what we wanna do is go back to Drive um, and we wanna get this into a usable format. So let's just paste it in there. Um, this is fine, but I want to get these into columns. I wanna see my keywords, the page, because I'm then gonna to want to be scraping these pages to see if it's internally linking to my cornerstone page. So first and foremost, what we wanna do is get the data and split text to columns. And that splits this out, let me get rid of it. Cool, now we've got the keyword right next to the URL. So I wanna do that again, data, split text to columns. Um, it's not detecting it automatically, so I want to put the pipe sign in there. 
Excellent. So we've now got keywords here and the URLs that Google thinks are the most important and relevant to the keyword for this website. Great. So let's just name this keyword. Oops. Let's just name this keyword. This will be the URL. Now we need to decide on the landing page. So um, people call these cornerstone pages typically. So for the term consultant, what do I want the main landing page to be? What page do I want to rank for the term consultant? Well, you know, the dirty little secret of Typey Media is our site is actually rubbish. Um, but let's just use some of our case studies as, as an example. Um, let's use the Unilad one. We'll just pretend this is not an actual um, thing we want to rank, but let's just pretend for the sake of this tutorial that we want this page to rank for the term consultant. So we want to build a bunch of internal links into it. And for the other one, uh, let's get an e-commerce example. Uh, let's say for the Pookie guys, we pull this in here. Oops. Cool. All right. So this is the keyword we want to rank. This is the page we want to rank for it. And we need to check if these are linking to our cornerstone page. Now you might be asking, well, that's going to take me a while if I'm not going to do this programmatically. Well, that's where we get the one and only screaming frog. So what you want to do is go up to the mode, make sure it's list mode, into configuration, and we're going to go into custom because we want to search for our landing pages. Oh, and here's one I've done earlier. Um, so what you want to do is put in your two URLs that you're trying to build internal links to. Hit OK, and then we're going to paste in all of those things we got from Google. Great. So what it's done there, it's just crawled all of these URLs here. And if we click on to custom, it's found, aha, so for our custom search for the Unilad SEO case study, um, we can see here that there is one instance where it's linking to this page. Cool. So we can miss out the case studies page when we're linking up to this um, page here. And then on the second one, same thing again, we can also miss this URL. So what I want to do is export this. Just imagine that you're going to have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of these if you're doing multiple keywords and it's for like an e-commerce site or something like that. Um, sadly, we need to use the uh, Typey Media site for this tutorial because it's obviously the only data that we can make public. Um, all right, so let's go back onto our sheet. So here I've got a tab called Screaming Frog Data. And all I'm doing is I'm dumping that straight in there and it's showing me this is the case studies page. Cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to find the link um, to see if anything is linking into our landing page. So we've got our Screaming Frog Data here. So this says this is the page that contains an internal link from one of these guys. So all I want to do is actually find this URL inside this list. Now, obviously I can just eyeball it and see it's there, but I'm assuming you've done this across a couple of hundred URLs, uh, not just two. Um, so how do we find it? Well, really simply, we do a little index match. So here's the index we're looking in. What do we want to match? Well, I want to match this URL and I want to match it to something in this column. I want to be exact match. And if you find it, I want you to return the first column. Now, if you don't find anything, I want you to tell me that it needs a link. Cool. So we can see that the PPC consultant job does not contain a link to this here. So that's great. So if we pull it down, everything should need a link apart from this one here. Perfect. So now what I can do is I can give this to one of my team or I can log in myself and not be super lazy and go to all these pages because I know that they do not link to this. But when I do a site command with the keyword, Google tells me that I should indeed be linking to it. And that's the dummy's guide to internal link building done.